Good morning, guys. It is Sunday. My mom is here to visit. So I am going to treat this vlog as I would how I would show someone around LA. So my mom is here to visit me for the week and I'm gonna take her to all the best spots that I think are worth seeing in LA. So I thought this would be a really good video if you are coming to LA to visit and you wanna sightsee or if you live in LA and have someone visiting to give you ideas on where to take that person. So yesterday my mom got here around 2 p.m. on Saturday. I tried to take her to the beach because she's never been to the West Coast. A little background, if you're new to my channel, I am from New Jersey. Obviously my mother is too. Um, and I've been living in California for about five months. So she came out to visit me this week. I'm so excited to have her here. And I decided that I wanted to do the whole shebang. So I'm gonna take her everywhere she wants to go. I want her to see all things LA. So I picked her up from the airport around two. I tried to take her to the beach just to see like West Coast water. Don't recommend doing that. I don't recommend trying to go to the beach on Saturday at rush hour. It was a mess. We couldn't find a parking spot. So we scratched that idea. And then we went to the Beverly Center and we went to Copan Ramen. That's like my favorite sushi place in LA. It's super quaint and quiet and really, really good food. So we went there, we got a little bit of like a dinner and then I took her to the Beverly Center. We walked around and shopped a bit. We walked Rodeo Drive and then I took her to the Universal City Outlook. So I just discovered the Outlook like about a week ago and I've already gone three times. It's awesome. I'll put a picture right here. It shows the best views of all of the city and the drive is really cool too. Too. It's like up the mountain. You see a ton of really cool houses. So that was our first day in LA. And today, like I said, it is Sunday. We just woke up, got ready, and I'm going to take her to the training post. So I'm going to take you guys along with me as if you guys are visiting as well. So let's do it. So we're heading into the training post now. Any thoughts, mom? No, I'm excited. Watch, watch, watch the curb. <laughs> so if you've never been to the training post, entry fee is just five bucks, and then you can walk around all day. So if you're into thrifting or anything vintage, I highly recommend the Melrose Trading Post. I love coming here because I'm a huge thrifter, but they have all kinds of really cool artwork and everyone here has like a booth to show off what they do. So there's like clothing, art, jewelry, all kinds of really cool stuff. All right, guys, we just got done at the trading post. I got this really cute skirt. I wasn't planning on buying anything, but this was just something that I know I wouldn't be able to find at home. And I just really thought it was unique. It's like this Harley, it's hard to see. Um, it's like this Harley Davidson skirt that's like made out of t-shirts, but I thought it was really cool. So I got that. And then my mom got us a little housewarming type of thing for my apartment in Philly. It's just gonna be like Beverly a poster. Hills, but it's, yeah, it's like a, an artist um, did a drawing of the Beverly Hills Hotel and it was really cute. So we got that too. But we're about to head to the Beverly Hills Hills Market in Delhi. I love this little market. I go there a lot to get breakfast and to get lunch and produce and stuff. It's like a family owned business. It's so cute in there. And the breakfast sandwiches are so good. It's like the only place in California and LA that I've found bagels. So I love going there. Super affordable too. So that's our next stop today. Here she is. Okay fam, so cheapest lunch that we're gonna have here in Beverly Hills. We just got this little salad. So on the weekdays they make hot sandwiches and stuff like that, but today we just got a salad from the fridge area. I've done this before and it's been really good, so that's what we decided to do today. All right guys, it is dinner time. We're all dressed up. We're at El Paseo, which is notoriously Justin Bieber's favorite Italian restaurant in Beverly Hills. Um, the last time I was here, I ordered the Justin Bieber. It is really good. Apparently the story is that he like created it um, and then they put it on the menu like because of him. Um, last time I was here, I actually had the waiter that like he really likes. It's, it's like his favorite waiter, the guy he always requests. Um, I don't know who's waiting on us yet, but my dress is from Fashion Nova. I'll put a picture of right here. We got some pretty good shots before we left. And my mom looks amazing. Look at her. Yeah, look at her, dressed to the nines, out to dinner in Beverly Hills. Miss retired. For the wine. <laughs> Waiting for the wine. Hey, 
Yum. Look at that. Yeah. Miss retired with her lobster. Good morning guys. Okay, it is Monday. We had a great dinner last night at El Paseo. Highly, highly recommend um, for authentic Italian food. Everyone that I've ever had wait on my table there is literally straight from Italy. They are so, so cool there. And as far as a meal in Beverly Hills, I really don't think it is too expensive. I would say it's about the same price as a fancy dinner over on the East Coast. So I think for the atmosphere and the food, the price range isn't too bad. So if you're looking to do a nice dinner with your your family or whoever is visiting you I highly recommend that today we are at Griffith Park and we're about to do a hike I'm gonna show my mom the Hollywood sign and I think today what we're gonna do is walk through Hollywood I'm gonna show her the stars and I think we're gonna go to Mel's diner you guys know I love Mel's so I think that's what's on the itinerary for today So if you have someone visiting you in LA or you are going to LA for the first time and you like to be active, I highly recommend going to Griffith Park. It's some of the best hiking in California. You can see the Hollywood sign. There's tons of different trails to do. You could literally spend all day here. So I love to come here and I definitely want to bring my mom here. She definitely wanted to see the Hollywood sign. That was one of the things on her list. And this is just a really cool way to be able to do it. So we just walked in to explore Griffith Observatory. I've been here to hike a couple times, but I've never actually like came over this way to explore. There's just like a lot of really good views. Let me get my hand out of the way. Views um, of the city as there is in the hiking trails, but there's just a um, little more access to be able to see them over here. A lot of people are like on the front lawn eating lunch and stuff, just hanging out with their families. It's really beautiful though. It's a great day to hike. The weather's perfect. It's like a little breezy. I would say like 75-ish, super sunny. Skyline is a little bit hazy today, but still really pretty. And also when you come to hike here, make sure you bring shoes that you're not afraid to get dirty. They're easy to clean, but because it's like a desert type of terrain, it's really dusty. So um, just make sure you wear shoes, like not super white ones, um, that you're not afraid to get dirty. Okay vlog, so we just arrived at the Hollywood Stars. You guys saw us at Griffith, Griffith, <laughs> Griffith Observatory this morning. So what we found out is that it's actually only closed on Mondays, and it is Monday. So we still got to walk around and everything, but apparently it's really cool inside, so definitely recommend checking that out. I think next time I'm up there, I will. But we're at the stars right now. How do you feel? Oh, Look, yeah. Mom, this blank one is for you. <laughs> Her first time. So, oh wow, now it is. So before I came to Hollywood for the first time, oh, sun, like I didn't know that the stars were literally just on the sidewalk. I thought there was like a specific like alley or something, but they're actually just on the sidewalk up and down the street of Hollywood Drive. So they literally go for so long. I've never walked the entire thing because there's tons of them, but we've already walked past like a lot of very familiar names. It's always fun to come here and just check them out. So this I've actually never seen before. It's right on the street of the Hollywood stores in front of the IMAX theater. And it's just a lot of famous people who wrote their name and put their footprints and handprints in these cement slabs and put the date. Kind of cool though. Is it? So we're 
doing the Walk of Fame, and if you guys know or have watched my vlogs before, Mel Steiner is one of my favorite restaurants here in LA. I just personally think that it's the best food for the price point, so obviously most things in LA are very expensive. I think that Mel's is very affordable for the amount of food you get and the selection. So I just love it. It's also like a very retro 50s vibe. It's really fun. So I'm actually collaborating with them tonight. So I'm gonna go in and we're gonna have a meal and I'm gonna post to them. But I'm really excited because like it's honestly my favorite restaurant anyway. So I just decided to reach out to them and they had responded right away. So I'm really excited. It's my um, first dinner collab I'm doing with my mom here. So we're about to head in. So Mills is a super vintage diner. They have a couple locations. This one's the Hollywood one. I've also been to the West Hollywood location. Um, a lot of celebrities come in here. There's pictures all over the walls of who have been here. Okay guys, so we just left Mills Diner. We got a ton of food. I'll put the picture that I took for them right here. And I'll put the picture of all the food we got right here. It was literally so nice. This is my first LA dinner collab solo. So I'm kind of proud of myself for that. They were so nice. Ramiro, shout out to him. He made our experience so nice. But it's a beautiful night. It's getting a little bit chilly. So we're just gonna head back to the house. I have a few collabs to film actually tonight. I have a self-tanning one that's due um, and I also have to get a few things emailed to brands for their approval. So I'm gonna do that, edit some photos. We're just gonna hit the hay early tonight because I think we're gonna go to Malibu tomorrow. Yep, another big day tomorrow, woohoo! <laughs> Hey guys, what is up? It's Tuesday of this vlog. So today we are in Malibu. It is a little bit cloudy today. It's supposed to clear up around three. It's about noon right now. So right now we went to, I have to think about the name of the beach that we're at. Uh, give me a sec. We are at El Matador State Beach. I've never been here. I've actually only been to Malibu one time and it wasn't even when I was living here, it was before. So we're here to shoot content today. I have this cute top on from On The Moon. These shorts from Glassons that I love to wear and got my little claw clip flower. I will leave the links to those down below because these are gonna be so trendy this summer. I got a huge pack with like literally 15. So I have a color for every outfit. Um, and then this bucket hat is from Target. I have to style it a little bit better, I think. But we are here with my mother and Jules today and we're gonna do some content. Look how pretty, wow. And we have a special guest star Jules today. Hello. <laughs> you guys have seen her in the vlog before. And mama, cool. Mom, well they, this is a vlog of me taking you around so they have seen you. Okay. She acted like I'm just gonna leave her out. Okay, so we're gonna shoot down here. It's actually really, really pretty. You can't see the depth of how far this goes down. Guys, oh my gosh, we just shot, I just shot six outfits. I haven't shot six outfits like that in a really long time. Uh, oh, my mom makes, <laughs> she found hand sanitizer. <laughs> my mom actually makes me so productive. We get things done really fast when she helps me shoot and Jules got a lot done as well. The sun's like actually starting to come out a little bit, which is exciting because most of the shots were hazy, but, um, they turned out really good anyway. Like the lighting down by the rocks was really good. I'll put a video on the next slide of like the ocean and everything because I didn't really get a chance to film down there because we were shooting so much. And I will also put a picture here of one look, a picture here of another look, and a picture here of another look. Um, Jules actually got us a dinner collab for tonight here. Woo, so that's gonna be fun. Um, yeah. The Sunset <laughs> Restaurant, yeah. So I will film there as well. See ya. Oh, there's something in my eye. Okay, guys, we are currently at the Sunset in Malibu. So Jules got a dinner clap for us, like I said. We had a little bit of time to kill in between shooting and dinner, so we went to, I think it's called Dune Point Beach the shopping center there. We went to this really cute coffee shop. It was called Good Vibes Only. Really liked it. And they have really cool ice cream and stuff too. So we're starving though. Um, and we're gonna walk on the beach a little bit and then grab food. How cute they are. That is so cute. Guys, check out the get up. I only had um, 
this cardigan for warmth. So we got patterns um, on patterns. I love my pants though, they're from Garage and so is my top. I forget where this cardigan is from, but it's a really cute company too. Ooh. So what'd you think? It was good, it was good. Right? Wow, yeah. okay cool. They don't normally get to take photos together, so it's like something that they may like print out and put on their fridge or hang up in their house. So. My mom is so cute, she takes pictures of everything. Look at her. Look at her go. Look at her go. Hi, mom. Hi. <laughs> My baby. We're here at the sunset. <laughs> wow. Look at that view. Oh my gosh. All right guys, I have a treat for you today. So as you guys know, my mom is visiting me. She sat this one out, and right now I'm at Bottega Louis with some familiar faces you guys might know. This is Oksana. I will put her Instagram right here. And this is Miss Jenny Rose. I will put her Instagram right here. And this is Mr. Evan, Jenny's boyfriend. Um, we actually all just met and we are here for lunch together. We're having a really good time. It's such a beautiful day and it's great to get to know them and talk about all things content. So we will keep you posted through the lunch. Okay fam, so we actually all ordered the same thing. Um, it looks so good though. What was it called again, guys? It's the... Okay, Cachio de Pepe, yeah. All right, so we'll see, we'll see. And if you take any to go, they come exactly. in a bag, unless you do it in 513, etc. they come in a little table that we box. Okay, leave that there. Thank you. So they give you like a macaroon list that you can fill out, and they come like this. Look how many different flavors. Never have seen this before, like this. Okay, fam, okay, here are macaroon selects. All right, we got one macaroon of the month, one Earl Grey. Cotton candy, strawberry, and salted caramel. Seems like a pretty sick list to me. <laughs> yeah, no, it was just like. Yes. <laughs> it's the slow mo for me. <laughs> You're doing great. You're doing fabulous. Yes. Very cute. There's even like a little, like. They are so cute. <laughs> they look so Hi vlog, long time no see. Um, so, update, my mom actually ended up extending for a few days. She wasn't feeling very well, so we actually um, made some adjustments in our schedule. So I'm gonna tell you guys what we're doing now and what we were going to do. So, before my mom wasn't feeling well, we had reservations at Beauty and Essex. Beauty and Essex is an awesome spot. In Hollywood, it's really, really good food. Super great atmosphere, kind of fancy. A little bit on the fancier side, so we are gonna do a dinner club with them. Um, and then the next day, we were supposed to go to Sky Bar to get a drink and Pink Taco for dinner. I haven't been to Pink Taco, I've heard great things, and Sky Bar is like the best views of all of LA, and it is like a pool bar, it's really, really cool, so love that. And then the last day she was gonna be here, we were gonna go to the Polo Lounge um, at the Beverly Hills hotel the polo lounge is something that I'm still yet to do um, but if you're coming to LA for the first time or you don't know if you're ever gonna come back I think the Beverly Hills Hotel is hundred percent something that you should hit it's obviously a little expensive but the experience is out of this world it's one of my favorite places to go and today now that we're both feeling better we're gonna take a walk on our day drive and just hit the shops and stuff so I'll take you guys with us today 
So right now we're at the terrace. This little park is in the middle of Beverly Hills on Rodeo Drive. Um, and it's so, so nice here. So the middle is like open to the public and then on the left and right there's restaurants. But I've eaten at the terrace before and it was so good. Also outfit today, um, trusty Levi's denim jacket and my set is from Princess Polly. Okay, so we stopped at the Cheesecake Factory and we're splitting a shrimp Caesar salad and a pasta trio. Here we go. Wow. Woo, baby, we got salt and caramel. So my mom's flight is technically tomorrow, but we have to get her to the airport around 4 a.m. So it's about 4.30 right now. So we're just gonna walk around Rodeo for a little bit longer and then probably go to bed earlier. Um, there's a ton of people out today though for the Sunday. Hey mom, what are your thoughts on Rodeo Drive? <laughs> All right guys, my mom has headed to the airport. I dropped her off this morning, literally at like 4.30. So I took a nap and I just woke up. So I'm gonna start my day, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any other questions or suggestions on places that are good to visit while you're out here or to sightsee, please leave it in the comments down below. I hope you guys enjoyed my little travel guide to LA and thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you next time. Have a great day.